hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful blouse um it is the floralless uh blouse as i in my previous video i did a tutorial of another blouse if you guys haven't yet checked it out please make sure you go and watch that video as well it will give you a clear insight of how to create these flowers but uh, for today, we are going to create a blouse that has coverage both at the back and at the front, as you can see. So it's literally a full garment that doesn't have an open back. So um, for the materials, I used Winter King yarn and I used a mint green color. And then um, I think I needed four of these, four to five balls to make the full top. And then I had to have a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and a crochet hook of four millimeters. A four millimeter crochet hook. I have two because this one usually gives me a hard time as I walk, so I usually interchange them, but they are both four millimeter crochet hooks. And then a darning needle to weave in your ends. And that's basically it. I will be demonstrating for an adult size blouse, head circumference 21 to 22 inches. So the moment you get that, then you can easily adjust accordingly, dip, basing on the fitting that you're going for, either loose fitted or tightly fitted. So um, I currently don't have power right now. That's why you're seeing shadows in my tutorial. But uh, I guess I'll be able to pull off this tutorial for you guys. If the power comes back, well and good, we shall be able to get a clearer and more neater presentation so this pattern has flowers i did um one flower at the top then there is three flowers on the next layer i'm still working on the lower layer but um by the time i release this video this pattern will basically be done i'll be finished with everything so this is how the flowers look like so you can basically just throw in something on the inside and then wear this as a normal blouse so let's get into the video and learn how to make this beautiful blouse or top or sweater because you can elongate this to become a sweater you can eliminate the sleeves so that it has a vest like look then you can give it sleeves like i did five, around five rows to give it a blouse look so let's get started okay so you're going to grab your hook the four millimeter crochet hook and then you're going to you're going to also get your yarn and you're going to make a chain of 104 this is an adult size blouse or sweater and you're going to make a chain of 104 so start off with your slip knot and you're going to make your chain of 104 All right, so I have my 104 chains right now. And now we are going to go into the sixth chain from the hook. So this doesn't count as a chain. So you're going to count one, two, three, four, five. And into the sixth, you're going to place a double crochet in there. So this will create our very first box, as you can see. Then you're going to chain one, skip one chain, and then one double crochet into the next that will create the second box as you can see here we are creating the mesh stitch chain one skip one chain and then one double crochet into the next so that makes uh, a total of three spaces and we're going to continue this until we have a total of seven spaces that's four chain one skip one chain one double crochet into the next those are five spaces chain one skip one chain one double crochet into the next those are six spaces chain one skip one chain one double crochet into the next those are seven spaces and now we are going to create our very first corner chain one prepare for a double crochet skip one chain and into the next chain you're going to place one double crochet chain three and then one more double crochet into the same exact chain 
so this creates a total of eight spaces before the increase this is the increase that we are talking about the one that creates the v-stitch so we have one two three four five six seven and eight spaces before the v-stitch so let's go on to the next part the next part is going to be the sleeve area this is half of the back you will um, understand everything at the end of this row this is half of the back then now we're going on to the sleeve so you're going to chain one skip one chain and one double crochet into the next chain so that will create our very first space bef um, after the increase so this is one chain one skip one chain one double crochet into the next chain those are two spaces you're going to do this until you have a total of nine spaces so those are three chain one skip one chain one double crochet into the next those are four spaces chain one skip one chain one double crochet into the next one, two three four five spaces six seven eight and nine so we have a total of nine spaces after our previous increase as you can see here this is the increase and we have one two three four five six seven eight and nine spaces so after this you're going to chain one skip the next chain and create your next increase so the increase is one double crochet chain three and one more double crochet into the same exact chain so that will create a total of 10 spaces in between the increases so this is one of the v-stitches and this is another v-stitch you should have a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten spaces in between the two increases make sure you cross check this because um this is our foundation row and this determines uh the placement of all the corners of the top so after this you're going to chain one skip the next chain one double crochet into the next and we want a total of 14 spaces so this is the first go ahead and chain one skip one chain one double crochet into the next and repeat that until you have a total of 14 spaces this is the fourth fifth this is six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen so we have a total of 14 spaces after the previous increase so after this you're going to chain one skip the next chain and then into the next you're going to create a v-stitch which is one double crochet chain three and one more double crochet so this will create a total of 15 spaces because after your chain one here it will create another space so you should be having a total of 15 spaces in between the two increases so a total of 15 spaces all the way across and then we're going this will be our front panel by the way this is the sleeve this is half of the back this is our front panel and that means we are back to creating the sleeve here so we're going to chain one skip one chain and then one double crochet into the next chain and we want a total of nine spaces so go ahead and create the mesh pattern until you have a total of nine spaces after the increase.
so we have our nine spaces as you can see the increase is here one two three four five six seven eight and nine and now you're going to chain one skip the next chain and into the next chain you're going to place an increase so one double crochet chain three one more double crochet and that will create a total of 10 spaces in between the two increases as you can see here so after this increase you're going to chain one skip the next chain one double crochet into the next chain and continue to create the mesh pattern until you have a total of six spaces so this is one two uh three four five six all right so after creating your sixth space you should be having a um one chain left here should be having one chain left and we have a total of one two three four five and six spaces now you're going to bring the beginning of your work just put it around like this remove your hook from here just watch what i'm doing and you're going to get this chain here you're going to insert your hook into that very chain the last chain and you're going to pull up a loop on this tail like this and then go onto this side and skip one chain on this side remember we have a chain of five one two three four five skip one chain from the base make sure your work is not twisted and then insert your hook into the second chain and grab this tail that we had behind here and then you're going to make a slip stitch after that you're going to chain one and then pull through so this closes up the foundation chain of our top and then from here remember we still have that one chain that was uh, left at the end of our row you're going to chain one skip that one chain and then go into the one two three The chain before the chain one just go into that chain and place your slip stitch to wind up your row one and this is what you're going to have all right so after the end of your very first round now that we are working in rounds uh you're going to get one stitch marker mine is here and i told you uh, where we end our rounds is our back side a back panel and then these are the sleeves and then this is the front panel you're going to mark two corners these are the two corners and then we have the 15 spaces 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 spaces in between the two corners so you're going to mark the exact middle sorry You're going to mark the exact middle space of the 15 spaces that you have. So we are marking the eighth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And into the eighth, you're going to place your stitch marker. I'll let you know what this will be used for. So after this, you're going to make a chain of four, which counts as a double crochet chain two. Turn your work and then double crochet into the next double crochet, chain one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and we're going to do this until we get to our very first corner that has the v-stitch and from round two onwards we are going to um, instead of creating one double crochet chain three one double crochet into the corners we are going to chain one after this double crochet in the very first double crochet of the v-stitch into the v-stitch you're going to place one double crochet chain two and one double crochet this time not chain three chain two from now onwards and from there you're going to chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet and then continue creating the mesh pattern 
with one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet so that will create the mesh pattern continue to do this until you get to your next corner sorry about the buds outside I don't know what's happening so after this we've reached our next corner which has the v-stitch you're going to chain one and into the v-stitch you place one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet like that and then chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet so we are now on the side for the front panel as you can see that's where the stitch marker is so chain one one double crochet Continue creating the mesh pattern until you have one space to the stitch marker and then I'll show you what to do from there. Alright, so we've reached um, one space to the space with the stitch marker. So you're going to remove the stitch marker. Remember, we have the space with the stitch marker and then one space here towards the uh, the right. So remove this stitch marker and then chain one, one double crochet into the next double crochet. And this is the space that had the stitch marker. You're going to go in there without a chain one. You can see one double crochet here, one double crochet into the space and one double crochet into the next double crochet. And that creates three double crochets. So power is off, so I'll be using natural light. So after the three double crochets here, you are going to chain one and one double crochet into the next double crochet, like that. And continue with your mesh pattern. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, the three double crochets here create um, that spot where the flower the first flower at the front is going to start building. You can see that. So it starts from here, from that point where you've created the three double crochets. I think my blouse is on the wrong side. So let me just turn it to the right side so that you get a clear picture of what I'm saying. So you can see the three double crochets are at this point. So that's where the first flower is going to be placed in the exact middle of the front panel. So let's go ahead. You're going to chain one and continue with your mesh pattern as usual. And when it comes to the V stitch, you're going to chain one, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet into the same space to create a V stitch for the corner. And then you're going to chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet and continue with the mesh pattern. All right, guys, so we're coming to the last corner and we basically do the same exact thing. So nothing changes. You just create the corner just like we've been doing before, creating a V-stitch into the very last corner here. And then from here, you just continue with your mesh pattern. So a point to note, we don't place anything in the chain one spaces. That's one thing that you have to note. We don't go into the spaces. We just go into the double crochet stitches. So continue to work your mesh pattern until you come to the very last space, which is this one at the moment. We have only one chain left. You're going to chain one and go into the third chain of the very first chain four at the beginning of the round and you're going to make a slip stitch. 
so that marks the end of round two so now we are going on to round three you're going to chain four which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work so that you're working in the opposite direction of the previous round and then you are going to go into the next double crochet with a double crochet so for this part everything remains the same create the mesh pattern until you get to the corner when it gets to the corner you create a v-stitch into the v-stitch from the previous row or round and then create the mesh pattern again for the sleeve part until you get to the front panel so as you can see i've created the mesh pattern until i've reached the v-stitch which is this one so into the v-stitch you chain one and create a v-stitch into that space and i told you from row two or round two onwards the v-stitch is one double crochet chain two one double crochet and then continue with your mesh pattern all right guys so um i'll meet you back when i'm at the front panel because everything else is just a repeat of what we've been doing before as you can see there there's nothing new that's happening in the pattern So we have reached that part that has the three double crochets in the same spot and uh, you're going to work until you have one one space to the right of the three double crochets as you can see here and uh, once you place a double crochet here in this space you're going to go into the space, into this, this space here, with two double crochets to make a total of three double crochets to the right of these three double crochets. And then from here, you're going to make a chain of 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then uh, you're going to skip over the three double crochets and into the space you're going to place two double crochets in there like that and then one double crochet into the next double crochet so we've tried to balance we've actually balanced what happened on this side onto this side and from here you just go on with your mesh pattern and also creating the corners as we were doing before so just go ahead and complete your round and i'll meet you back on round four Okay guys, so we've come to the end of um, round three and we are placing a slip stitch on top of the third chain at the beginning of the chain four. Sorry, I hadn't chained one. So chain one, slip stitch into the third chain of the chain four at the beginning of the round. So now let's start round four. You're going to make a chain of four, turn your work. And then you are going to continue with your mesh pattern 
as usual and also creating the corners as usual and then I'll meet you back when you have one space to the three double crochets on the front panel so we are going to go all the way around like this creating the corners at the corners don't forget and then I'll meet you back at this point all right so I've made it to one space to the three double crochets and we are going to go into that last space before the three double crochets and we are going to place two more double crochets to make a total of one two and three and from here you're going to make a chain of six one two three four five and six and go into the chain 10 space with one double one single crochet sorry one single crochet into the chain 10 space then chain six and then skip over the three double crochets and go into the next space with a total of two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next double crochet and this is what it has created and from here onwards we are just going to continue to work our mesh pattern and also creating the corners as usual as we've been doing for our previous rounds So go ahead and finish round four and I'll meet you back at round five. So I finished round four and round five is not different. Um, it's going to be chain of four, turn your work and then continue with your mesh pattern. And you're going to continue to do this until you get to the three double crochets on the front panel the first three double crochets on the front panel as you can see here once you have one space left just wait for me there and i'll show you what to do all right so when we get to the space before the three double crochets here we are going to place two more double crochets into the space before the three double crochets so two more to make a total of three double crochets here and from here you are going to make a chain of seven one two three four five six and seven then go into the chain six space just before the single crochet and place a single crochet in there and then single crochet into the single crochet and single crochet into the chain six space right after the single crochet like that so we shall have a total of three single crochets at this point and then you're going to make a chain of seven and then skip the three double crochets here and go into the next space with a total of two double crochets sorry two double crochets and then the third double crochet is placed in the next double crochet there so this is what we have you can see the flower is already starting to form it will take shape later on no worries about that so um after this you're going to just continue creating your corners and creating the mesh pattern until you get to the end of your round five and then you'll start round six as usual chain four turn and then create the mesh pattern until you get to one space before the three double crochets on the front panel so let me go ahead and do that and i'll meet you back at that point okay so i'm on round six and i've reached that part of um one space to the three double crochets and uh, once you get there we're just going to do the same exact thing as we were doing before so two double crochets into that space to make a total of three and then you're going to make a chain of eight so one two three four five six seven and eight and then into the single crochet Remember, we have three single crochets here. So you're going to place one single crochet into each of the three single crochets. 
So that means for this round, we'll still be having a total of three single crochets, one in each from the row below. Then from here, you're going to make a chain of eight. And then you are going to skip the three double crochets here and go into the next space with a total of two double crochets. And then the third double crochet is placed in the next double crochet to make a total of three double crochets. And then from here, you're going to go all the way around creating the mesh pattern as well as creating the corners where necessary. These are the corners. You can see uh, you maintain the corners for each and every round. So from here, just go on and continue to finish your round as usual. And then you're going to start round seven. And then I'll meet you back right before the three double crochets here on the front panel. So finish up round six, start round seven, creating the mesh pattern as well as the corners. And I'll meet you back at this point, somewhere around here. All right, guys, so we've reached that part of round seven when we have one space to the three double crochets. Now we're going to change a small bit. Uh, we are not going to do the same exact process because we need to close in the flower. And now um, at this point, you're going to chain one and go into the next double crochet, skip over the chain one space where we would have placed the two double crochets to make a total of three. This time we're skipping it and going into the next double crochet with a double crochet like that and then chaining one and double crochet skip the next double crochet and double crochet into the last double crochet before the chain and you can see that and then you're going to go into the chain eight space with two more double crochets to make a total of three double crochets as you can see one two and three and then you are going to make a chain of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you're going to go into each of the next single crochets with one single crochet, into each of the three single crochets with one single crochet. So we have our three single crochets here. And then you're going to make a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you're going to go right below that before that three double crochets into the space you're going to place two double crochets one and two and then the third one is going to be placed into the very first double crochet to make a total of three as you can see here we've mirrored exactly what we did on this side onto this side and from now on you're going to chain one skip the next double crochet and double crochet into the next double crochet chain one and continue creating the mesh pattern so what we've done here is you can see the flower was becoming wider and wider and wider so it was coming out like this now we've started bringing it in and eventually it will close up at some point so Let's continue to work our mesh pattern all the way around, finish up round seven, and then come back with round eight using the mesh pattern as well as creating the corners. And I'll meet you back at this point of round eight. All right, guys, so we are on round eight and we've reached the three double crochets. So you're going to chain one, skip the space, and then go into the next double crochet with a double crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet and double crochet into the next. And then two double crochets into the chain seven space to make a total of three double crochets, just like we did for the previous round. And then you're going to make a chain of six And we are going to go into the middle single crochet of the three. So go into there uh, with a single crochet like that. And then you're going to make a chain of six. 
and um, place two double crochets in the chain seven space right before the three double crochets and then one double crochet into the next double crochet like that and you can see the flower is closing in and after this you're going to chain one skip the next double crochet and double crochet into the next chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet and continue with your mesh pattern all the way around so finish up round eight and start round nine and i'll meet you back on round nine around this spot just like we've been doing before so the other things are just a repetition of what we already know so just finish up round eight start round nine and i'll meet you back at this point all right so we've come to the flower of round nine and we are still creating the mesh pattern chain one skip the next uh double crochet double crochet into the next double crochet and then from here you're going to place two more double crochets into the chain six space to make a total of three double crochets and then here we are going to make a chain of one and go into the next chain six space with a total of two double crochets like that and then um, double crochet into the next double crochet and you can see how the flower part has formed out so well and then from here you're going to just go on chain one skip the next double crochet and double crochet into the next and then chain one double crochet into the next double crochet and carry on with your mesh pattern and continue to create your corners and finish up round nine all the way to the end of the round and then you're going to chain four turn and then come back with round 10 until you get to the flower part of round 10 and then i'll show you what to do from there so this is the front side the one with the flower and then when it comes to the back side we just have a plain mesh all right so we've come to the flower of round 10 and as you can see um i am still working the mesh pattern all the way to the chain one space that's in between the three double crochets on either side so chain one and then double crochet into the last double crochet of the first group of the three double crochets on this side but then um when it comes to the chain one space you're going to place one double crochet and then one double crochet on the opposite side so that will create that middle group of the three double crochets here just like we had for round two where we started working the flower so um we're going to do something different i wanted to first demonstrate this then um you are going to get two stitch markers let me just get the same color um, okay you're going to grab two stitch markers and you're going to count seven uh seven spaces to the left towards this side that already has the mesh pattern going on so one two three four five six and seven and into the eighth space you are going to place one stitch marker there so we don't need this one as yet but then uh you're going to just remove your hook because at this point we are going to introduce the next group of flowers so that we increase from uh from three flowers from one flower to three flowers so we're going to have one here and one somewhere around here so you're going to undo your work until that space that has the stitch marker just pay attention to what i'm doing so the stitch marker is here you're going to just remove it and remove that chain one as well that had the stitch marker in it and now you're going to reconnect uh your hook 
and you're going to go into that very space with one double crochet and then one double crochet in the next double crochet so that will create the the first group of three double crochets for the next flower then chain one and continue working the mesh stitch chain one skip the chain one space one double crochet all right so so far we have one two three four five we should have seven spaces before the next group of um three double crochets so that's the sixth and then chain one and then the seventh is this one that we had done before the one that i undid so one double crochet on this side one double crochet in the chain one space and then one double crochet in the next double crochet that begins the three double crochets on the opposite side so i hope i'm clear on this you should be having a total of one two three four five six and seven gaps in between um the groups of three double crochets now actually we didn't need the second stitch marker because now this is going to kind of be obvious you're going to chain one skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next chain one and then continue with the mesh pattern so skip the chain one space double crochet we are going to do this until we have a total of seven spaces one two this is the third three um four five six and then this is the seventh so just to cross check we have one two three four five six and seven and after that you're going to go into the chain one space after that you place a double crochet in there and then a double crochet into the next stitch so um, this is exactly what you should have and now we're going to just continue with the mesh pattern all the way around until the end of our round creating the corners and then working the mesh stitch as we've been doing for the previous rounds so this is round 10 so this is a corner it gets one double crochet chain two one double crochet to maintain the increase So go all the way around until you get to the end of your round which is here at the back panel and then i'll show you what to do next for round 11. so we've come to the end of round 10 and we're going to finish it off as usual you're going to chain one and then uh go into the third chain of the first chain four of the round and make a slip stitch then after this you're going to chain three sorry chain four which counts as a double crochet chain one turn your work and you are going to continue working your mesh stitch and continue with the corners until we get to our very first flower so this is round 11 just go all the way from the back panel to the sleeve panel and then the front panel and when you get to your very first flower which is the first group of the three double crochets at this point i'll show you what to do next from there all right so we are almost reaching the first flower the first group of uh three double crochets now i'm continuing with my mesh until i have one space to the three double crochets and into that space we are going to place uh two double crochets into the space which makes a total of three double crochets and then you're going to chain 10 after your 10 chains you're going to skip over the three double crochets 
and go into the next chain one space with a total of two double crochets into the same space and then one double crochet into the next double crochet and this is what you'll have this brings us back to round three when we created the chain of ten i hope you remember that um so after this you're going to continue with the mesh pattern chain one skip the next chain one space and double crochet into the next chain one and continue that until you have one space to the next group of three double crochets and i'm here so into that space you're going to place two double crochets and then you're going to chain 10 after your chain of 10 you're going to skip over the three double crochets and into the chain one space you're going to place two double crochets and then into the next double crochet you're going to place one double crochet into it so we've created another loop that will represent our next flower and then you are going to create the mesh pattern until you have one space to the next group of three double crochets chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet so here we are you should have a total of five spaces in between instead of seven from the previous row um now we have one two three four and five and then the three double crochets same applies to this we have one two three four and five and then we are going to go into the next uh chain one space with two double crochets okay chain 10 and then skip over the three double crochets and go into the next chain one space with two double crochets and then you're going to place one double crochet into the next double crochet so this is what we have now hope it makes sense it will make so much sense later on but we are going to relate this round to what was happening on round three so um from here you're going to just go all the way around with your mesh pattern and creating the corners as we've been doing for the previous rounds and then i'll meet you back on round 12 and round 12 is going to be a little bit different from all the rest because we are going to be splitting the armholes and uh, creating uh sleeves and separating the main body of the top so go ahead and finish up round 11 and I'll explain to you what to do for round 12 so we are currently done with our round 11 now for round 12 you're going to chain 4 turn your work and then create the mesh stitch until you come to the very first corner so we've reached our first corner which is this one I've placed a double crochet into the first stitch of the V stitch and then I'm going to chain one go into the V stitch where we would have placed our next V stitch and you're going to place only one double crochet in there and then you're going to make a chain that uh, splits the main body from the sleeves so that chain should be an odd number so you're going to chain one two three four and five and that's the look that i'm going for but then before you do this if you feel like you need more rows of the yoke before you split the sleeves then you're going to just go ahead and continue to follow round 
12 as I'm explaining but without splitting the armholes because uh, you need a deeper yoke than this than 12 rounds so um, everyone is different if you need deeper armholes deeper sleeves then you're going to continue to work the round without separating the armholes and when you get to that level where you feel like you're comfortable with your fitting at that point you will create that chain so i usually do three round three chains for an extra small um five chains for small to medium then seven chains for large extra large some somewhere around seven to nine so after this you're going to skip this part which is the sleeve opening and go into the v-stitch here and you're going to place one double crochet into it and this is creating our armhole as you can see here and from here you are going to chain one go into the second because this is the first stitch of the v-stitch and now this is the second one go into it with one double crochet and continue working the mesh pattern until you have one space to the first flower on the front front panel so um i'm just doing it real quick because the flower is just a few stitches away so we are here and i have one space to the uh, three double crochets so you're going to go into this space with two double crochets to make a total of three double crochets then remember what we worked here on this round four we chained six and then single crocheted into the chain 10 space chained six and then three double crochets so we are bringing back the same exact knowledge because we want the uh, our flowers to be exactly the same so that the pattern is really connected and is matching so well so after your three double crochets you're going to chain six and then go into the chain 10 space with one single crochet chain six and then skip over the three double crochets and place two double crochets into the next chain one space and then one double crochet into the next double crochet then you're going to chain one double crochet into the next chain one double crochet into the next chain one double crochet into the next and from there you are going to place two double crochets into the next chain one space and you're going to chain six single crochet into the chain 10 space chain six and you're going to skip over the next three double crochets and place two double crochets into the chain one space after the three double crochets then um, one double crochet into the next stitch chain one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one double crochet into the next double crochet so that will create three spaces just as we have here we have one two and three and then the next three double crochets so whatever you do should be matching so after this you're going to go into the next chain one space with two double crochets chain six um one single crochet into that chain 10 space chain six skip over the three double crochets into the next chain one space you're going to place two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next and at this point we are done with our three flowers we just go ahead and work the mesh pattern until the next corner where we are going to split the main body from the sleeve again so chain one one double crochet chain one 
so you have to be alert because you can easily miss this point and then just continue without splitting the armholes and then you have to come back and correct that error so after this you go into you chain one and go into the v-stitch with one double crochet this time only one and then skip over this whole section that whole section there and then uh, you're going to chain five or however many chains that you did on this side then you're going to skip over that section prepare for a double crochet and go into the next V stitch which is in the next corner with a double crochet so this is what we have guys I hope now everything makes a lot of sense now from here you're going to just go ahead and create your mesh pattern just like we've been doing before and finish up your round 12 or whichever round that you're working on at the moment and then I'll meet you back on round 13 So we've come to the end of round 12 and I've chained one and I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain four of the round. Now uh, round 13 you're going to start with chain four, turn your work and then you're going to create the mesh pattern until you get to the chain that we worked below the armpits or the chain that splits the main body of the top from the sleeves okay so i'm working into the very last stitch before the chain and now from here you're going to chain one skip one chain and go into the next with one double crochet chain one skip the next chain one double crochet into the next chain and then you're going to chain one, skip the last chain and go into the next double crochet with a double crochet. And that is going to create uh, the mesh pattern right below the armpits. So after that, you're going to chain one and continue with your mesh pattern until you get to one space to the next uh, group of three double crochets, which represents the first flower of the round. So we are here, you're going to go into the space with two double crochets to make a total of three double crochets. And then you're going to chain seven, go into the chain six space next to the single crochet and place a single crochet in there, single crochet into the next single crochet, and then single crochet into the next chain um, six space. And then you're going to chain seven then you're going to skip over the three double crochets and then go into the next chain one space with uh, two double crochets then one double crochet into the next stitch then you're going to chain one skip over this space um, and then go into the next double crochet with one double crochet but then that begins the next flower. That means the next space is going to get a total of two double crochets in there. And then we are now going to make a chain of seven. 
and then repeat the same process one single crochet into the chain six space one single crochet into the single crochet one single crochet into the next chain six space so after this you're going to chain six sorry seven not six seven chains here and then you're going to skip over the three double crochets go into the next space with uh, two double crochets then one double crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to chain one skip over one space and then one double crochet into the next but since this begins the next flower the next space is going to get two double crochets in there chain seven and then um, single crochet into the chain six space single crochet into the single crochet and single crochet into the next chain six space chain seven skip over the three double crochets and then two double crochets into the next chain one space uh, one double crochet into the next double crochet like that and then here we're going to do our mesh pattern until we get to the chain below the armpits So when you get to your last double crochet before the chain, we're going to just repeat the same process as we did at this point. So you're going to chain one, skip one chain, and then double crochet into the next chain. Chain one, skip one chain, double crochet into the next chain, and repeat that until you have only one chain left. Because I don't know how many chains you made. So after this, when you have one chain left, you're going to chain one, skip over that chain, and then go into the next double crochet with a double crochet. And then after this, you're going to continue working your mesh pattern until the end of your round. So this is round 13. Just finish it up and then start round 14 because now we have the mesh pattern going on after round 13 you'll slip stitch here and then chain four turn then come back until you get to the very first flower and then i'll meet you back at that point because from this point onwards everything is pretty much the same the only difference is how to create those flowers and go about the pattern in the middle section of the front panel so i'll meet you back on the flower section of round 14. All right, so we are on the first flower of round 14 and you can see we have one space to the um, three double crochets. You're going to go into the chain one space with two double crochets in there. And then you're going to make a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then go into each of the next single crochets with one single crochet so a total of three single crochets one in each and then make a chain of eight and then uh, when it comes to this part we are going to go into the third double crochet of the first three double crochets with one double crochet and then go into the space with uh, one double crochet and go into the next double crochet with one double crochet like that and you can see this has created another V which is here and now after this we are now going to make a chain of eight 
one single crochet into each of the next single crochets in the middle of the next flower of course and then you're going to make a chain of eight and then we are going to place um, one double crochet into the last double crochet of the next three double crochets and then one double crochet into the space and one double crochet into the first double crochet of the next group of three double crochets and then you're going to make a chain of eight single crochet into each of the next single crochets that i hope you're seeing the flowers coming together so well um after this uh you're going to make a chain of eight and then you're going to skip over the three double crochets and go into the chain one space with a total of two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next double crochet and then go ahead and continue with your mesh pattern until the end of your round now the mesh pattern from now on has no increases so it's a very plain mesh pattern just chain one skip the next chain one space and double crochet into the next chain one space sorry into the next double crochet so uh this is round 14 i'm going to finish it up and then i'll meet you back on round 15 when we've reached the floral section on the front panel so you know exactly how to begin and end your rounds by now and uh, the mesh pattern is the one at the back of the top the floral pattern is the one at the front of the top So I'm just speeding through because by now you know exactly what to do at this point. So I've come to the end of uh, round 14. Round 15, you're going to chain four, turn your work, work the mesh, the mesh pattern until you get to the flower, the first flower of the front panel. And I'll meet you back at that point. All right, so I've reached the first flower of the front panel and round 15 is a little bit different because the flower has to start closing up, not to become wider. As you can see, it first grows and then starts moving inwards, just like the first flower that we made. So for this round, which is round 15, um, you're going to continue with your mesh pattern until the chain eight space so i hope you remember exactly what we did at this point you can see the three double crochets are now coming inwards not outwards so you just continue with your mesh pattern chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet like that and then into the chain eight space you're going to place a total of two double crochets to make a total of three double crochets for this group and then you're going to make a chain of seven and single crochet into each of the next three single crochets like that and then you're going to chain seven then prepare for a double crochet and double crochet into the chain eight space two times so these are our two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next double crochet like that and then chain one and then you are going to skip one stitch here and double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochets into the chain eight space so as you can see here we closed up the mesh pattern from seven spaces to five spaces to three spaces now one space and then the one that didn't have any space and now we are reintroducing that mesh pattern to start growing again. And that's why we have one space again and it's going to keep widening until it gets to seven spaces. So 
after this you're going to make a chain of seven single crochet um, in the next single crochets once and then chain seven double crochet two times into the ch uh, chain eight space and then one double crochet into the next double crochet like that and then you're going to chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into the next double crochet then you're going to place two double crochets into the next chain eight space just like we did here you can see the same process happening at these two points and then um, chain seven single crochet once into each of the next single crochets and then chain seven double crochet twice into the chain eight space one double crochet into the next double crochet and then chain one skip one stitch and then double crochet into the next stitch and then now from here onwards we are going to just work our mesh pattern until the end of the round so finish up and then um start round 16 and i'll meet you back when we are on the floral part of the front panel of round 16 just work your mesh pattern finish up round 15 then chain four and turn work your mesh pattern all the way to the front of your top and i'll meet you back at that point Okay, so we are back and we've reached our first flower. So you're going to chain one and double crochet into the next. Chain one, double crochet into the next, double crochet. And now we are going to go into the chain seven space and we're going to place uh, two double crochets into that space. And then you're going to make a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six and then go into the middle single crochet of the three single crochets go into the middle one and place one single crochet in there and then you're going to make a chain of six and then two double crochets into the chain seven below like that and then sorry two double crochets not three and then one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one skip one stitch one double crochet into the next chain one skip the next space and one double crochet into the next chain one skip the next stitch and one double crochet into the next so this is what i was talking about you can see we are going from one space into three and then five and then seven so i hope it, it, this is making sense to you so after this you're going to go into the chain seven space with two more double crochets and then you're going to make a chain of six one single crochet into the middle single crochet of the next three single crochets make a chain of six two double crochets into the chain seven space one double crochet into the next double crochet like that and then we are going to chain one skip one one double crochet into the next chain one skip the space one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one skip one stitch one double crochet into the next and then we are going to make two double crochets into the next chain seven space then you're going to make a chain of six one single crochet into the middle chain six uh two double crochets into the next uh chain seven space then one double crochet into 
the next double crochet and from now on we are going to just go all the way around and complete our round with the mesh stitch this is round uh, 16 so finish your round 16 with your mesh pattern and then start 17 until you get to the floral part of round 17 i'll meet you back at that point and show you what to do okay so we have reached the first flower of round 17 and as you can see i'm still going on with the mesh pattern until the very last uh, double crochet before the chain now from here you are going to make two more double crochets into the chain six space and then you're going to chain one skip over all these the chain the double cr the single crochet and then this uh, into the chain six space you're going to place two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next double crochet and we can see this happening at uh, this round here you can see that that was round round nine so after this you are going to create the mesh pattern chain one skip one stitch one double crochet chain one skip the next space one double crochet into the next chain one skip one one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one skip the space one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one skip the next double crochet and one double crochet into the next double crochet so this brings us to our next flower and here we are going to just do the same exact thing two double crochets into the chain six space chain one two double crochets into the next chain six space one double crochet into the next double crochet like that and you can see we've closed off um our flowers they're coming in now um after this you're going to create the mesh pattern And now you should have a total of five spaces in between. You can see this one, two, three, four, five. And before we had three and then one. So I hope it makes sense because that's the only way you're going to get that um, diamond shape. So after this, we are going to do the same exact thing two double crochets into the chain six space, chain one, two double crochets into the next chain six space and then one double crochet into the next double crochet and from this point onwards just walk around uh, placing your mesh stitch all the way around to complete round 17 and start round 18 and I'll meet you back on the first flower of round 18 all right, so we are back and it's raining outside. I'm very sorry for the background noise that you may hear um, from now on, but this is the time that I have gotten to record this video and I'm not backing down. So we've reached the first flower of round 17 and um, you're going to continue with your mesh pattern until you get to the chain one space in between the groups of three double crochets. So work your mesh stitch until the very last uh, double crochet of the first group and then place one double crochet into the chain one space and then one double crochet into the next double crochet so that closes up our flower totally so round 17 is going to close up the flowers totally and then uh, you're going to chain one and work your mesh pattern
so once you get to your last um, double crochet of the next group you go into the chain one space with one double crochet one double crochet into the next double crochet and then you're going to chain one and work your mesh uh, your mesh pattern mesh stitch so this pattern is really repetitive and you have to really pay attention when working it so that you don't mess up the flow of the design all right so we are closing up our very last flower as you can see here we've closed up the first one the second one and now we are closing up the third one like that and then continue with your mesh pattern all the way around and wind up round 17 So this is what we have so far and at this point you're going to determine how long you want your vest to be because this is a vest if you want you can add sleeves but for this tutorial we are making a vest so if you want it to be longer then I'll show you what to do for round 18 because this is still very cropped and short if that's the look that you're going for then I think at this point you're about to finish up your project. All right, so this was round 18. So um, I know this is very cropped and I want this design to be really uh, versatile so that it can fit different sizes and be comfortable for different uh, age groups and anyone who would wish to wear it. So if you want a super crop top right below the bust, this is the setting that you're going for. But for me, I think I'm going to do one more layer of flowers so that it goes right to around my belly button area, something that's comfortable to wear with jeans. And um, we have to create, um, this is the look that I'm going for. I have one flower here and then the second group of flowers and then i want the third one to be created in that diagonal shape so that means i had to create that part when i was working round 18. so right before you close up the last uh, the very first flower you're going to count seven spaces to the right just like we did when we were creating these flowers here so one two three four five six and seven so into the eighth you're going to place your stitch marker there and undo your work until that point because that's the point where we are going to start introducing the next uh flower so remove the chain one 
and then into that space you're going to go in with uh, one double crochet and then one double crochet into the next now after this continue with your mesh pattern i hope i'm making sense because we have now done this before and now that we know how to work our flowers i'm going to just walk you through um the first round of creating the next set of flowers and then you'll be able to pick it up from there trust me if you rewind a bit you'll be able to just follow the pattern so let's see what we have we have the three double crochets here then one two three four five six and we should have a total of seven spaces so this is correct this is our seventh space and then into the chain one space one double crochet one double crochet into the next double crochet and then create your mesh pattern one two three four five six and seven spaces between the flowers for the very first row when we are creating the first row that creates the flowers you should have seven spaces in between so after this you're going to go into the chain one space with one double crochet one double crochet into the next double crochet and then go back to the mesh pattern and for this round which is 18 if you're following the same exact instructions as mine uh, we want to create a total of five flowers across so instead of three we are introducing two more uh, one on each side and that will give us our five flowers so one two three four five six and this is our seventh space and then into the next chain one space one double crochet one double crochet into the next double crochet and this is what we have so we've created we have our very first flower here one then two three four and five and the moment you're done with that you're going to just continue working your mesh pattern as usual and wind up your round 18 and then start round 19 until you get to your very first flower of round 19 All right, so we've reached our first flower of round 19. And in the space before the three double crochets, you're going to place two double crochets. And then you're going to make a chain of 10. And then you're going to go into the next chain one space after skipping the three double crochets. And you're going to place two double crochets. And then one double crochet into the next stitch like that then chain one one double crochet into the next double crochet and continue creating the mesh pattern until you have one space to the next group of three double crochets right here and then place two double crochets into that space chain 10 and then Two double crochets into the next chain one space and then one double crochet into the next double crochet so let me just remind you of what was happening you remember on round three when this happened the chain 10 space and then this was round three four five six seven eight nine ten and round 11 that happened again and now we are on round 
19 and it's happening again so uh, from this point onwards just rewind your work to round um, 11 and follow the subsequent number of rows in order to open up the flower and then close it up because it's going to be the same exact process and then uh, I'll meet you guys back when I'm done with this set of flowers and you can see um, the flowers are extending diagonally like this so we have an extra flower here so I'm going to go ahead and work my rounds until I finish up the third layer because this is the first layer which has one flower the second layer has three flowers and the third layer will have five flowers so when I get done with the third layer of my flowers I'll meet you back and uh, show you how to wind up your project all right guys so I'm currently on round 26 and this is the round that closes up the flowers the the third level or the third layer of flowers so i'm finishing up the mesh pattern real quick and i told you i wanted a total of uh three layers so this should be my last layer of flowers if you want to continue to expand the number of flowers your fourth layer should have a total of seven flowers then your fifth layer should have a total of nine flowers, depending on the width of your gamut. So I'm going to stop on this one, which is my third layer. Right. So I'm just coming around to the last part of the mesh around um sorry i keep forgetting um 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20, 20. round 26 and what i want to do is wind up round 26 as usual then round 27 is going to be a plain mesh round so chain uh four turn your work and you're going to make one double crochet into each double crochet separated by a chain one space and when you come to the three double crochets of course you go ahead and work the mesh stitch so i'm going to show you what i mean by that so you can see I want my final round to look like this all the way through. All right, so when you get to the three double crochets that we have here, you're going to just chain one, skip the space, one double crochet into the next, chain one, skip the next double crochet, and one double crochet into the next. And you can see uh, the mesh pattern settles well on this pattern. As you can see here, we've changed uh, these three double crochets to the mesh stitch for our very final round so go all the way around doing that and i'll meet you back at the end of round 27 and i'll show you what that will look like so at the end of round 27 you should have something that looks like this i am not going to provide an edging because i feel like this top is just perfect but 
if you want to go ahead and place an edging you can go ahead and do maybe okay i'll do that because um i think my last round is on the wrong side so let me go ahead and place an edging just for that reason but if you end your round on the right side i don't see the need for an edging so i'm going to just go ahead and place one single crochet chain three and then slip stitch at the base of the chain three and then single crochet again in the same space but um i usually like these spikes to pop onto the right side so i think i'm good first do um one uh two single crochets into each and every chain one space so just do two single crochets into each chain one space all the way around nothing worked into the stitches just do two single crochets into each and every uh, space then i'll do the spike stitch So you can see this is much neater than before so i guess i will also be doing an edging on the sleeves as well so let me just go around and i'll meet you back at round uh, 29 because this is round 28. Okay, so um, we are finishing up round 28 and I'm placing one slip stitch into the very first single crochet that we made. Then you're going to chain one and turn your work. Make sure you're working this round on the wrong side of your work so that the spikes can pop onto the right side. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to go into the first single crochet and make one single crochet. Then you're going to chain four and slip stitch into these two loops at the front of the single crochet after that slip stitch actually i'll do three chains before the spike not four chains because four chains creates a very big hole in between so after your three chains you're going to make a slip stitch into the two front loops of the single crochet like that and then single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch so we're going to do that all the way around chain three slip stitch then single crochet into the next two stitches chain three slip stitch and then single crochet 
into the next uh, two stitches. It would have been three stitches, but I want the spikes to be close enough. I don't want them so apart. So this is what it's creating for the boundary. And you can see the spikes are popping onto the outside of our work. So just go ahead and uh, repeat that all the way around for round 29. Okay, so let's see what that looks like when I lay my work flat. I think it creates a very good boundary for our vest. So go all the way around until you come back to the beginning of your round, creating those little spikes on the edge. So after your last slip stitch, you're going to just chain one and cut your yarn leaving a tail to weave in pull through and at this point you're going to just get your darning needle and weave in all your ends and your vest is ready to wear okay to make your sleeve you are going to attach your yarn on the arm opening and you're going to go into any stitch so what I want to do is to go into the chain where the, hold on, there's that chain here at this point where the double crochet of the V-stitch is. So at the top of that chain, I want to attach my yarn there and then I'm going to chain four which counts as a double crochet chain one. And then um, I am going to go, I'm going to skip over the V-stitch. You can see the V-stitch is here, this and this. I'm going to skip over all this and go into the next double crochet with a double crochet. So chain one and then double crochet into the next. So for the rest, you're going to just continue to work um, the mesh stitch. I've started right from the armpit and then I'll show you how to wind up when it comes to the chain that we created under the armpit. So when you are about to get the V-stitch, let me just work until the last double crochet, until the V-stitch. You can see that the V-stitch is here. The V-stitch is here. And we're going to chain one and skip over all this space and go into that point here, just like we did on the opposite side. This is going to help us not to have a very large sleeve. As you can see, these holes are a little bit big, but uh, they will dissolve into the pattern later on. And even that, uh, they are under the armpit, so they won't even show. So after that, you're going to chain one and go into those chains that have those double crochets, as you can see. And then you're going to chain one and go into the third chain of the uh, chain four at the beginning of the round and make a slip stitch. So that marks the end of round one of the sleeve. 
and then you're going to make a chain of four and turn your work and you are going to go into the next double crochet chain one double crochet into the next double crochet and that's the repeat for this round all the way around and when you come to the end you know exactly what to do you just chain one and then go into the third chain of the chain four at the beginning of the round and um, you can go ahead and make this sleeve as long as you want or as short as you want for this pattern i'll be making short sleeves uh, because the yarn that i've used is quite heavy it's not that light so i don't think i want long sleeves because they'll really heat up so i am going to just repeat uh this round until i have a total of five rounds for the sleeve and then i'll come back and show you what that will look like but you can go ahead and make very long sleeves until the wrist or make a blouse like me that's really up to you at this point you're going to di dictate what you want for your design either to leave it at the vest level or the blouse level or the sweater level that's really up to you Alright, so after your five rounds, when you make it around your fifth round of the sleeve, you are now going to chain one and slip stitch into the third chain of the first chain four of the round. And then you're going to chain one and cut your yarn. And you're going to repeat this for your second sleeve. so at the end of it all this is what you will have this is the front side of our blouse um these are the sleeves i'll be attaching some photos for you to get a clearer view but right now i don't have power so my lighting is really crappy right now but uh, this is the front side of the blouse and when it comes to the back side we don't have any designs it's just plain mesh and um I just decided to leave everything as plain as it was because it was already complicated enough so I didn't do neckline ribbing but you can go ahead and do that if that's something that you would want and then yeah that's basically it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this project it helps out my channel a lot and I will see you in my next video bye